Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to do a little bit of vertical rotation. Now it's easy enough to do horizontal rotation, so we get an armor stand and we just make it turn around. We can do that just using the teleport command, which is nice. But for vertical, what will happen is he'll look up and then stop. And we need him to go around to the other side and look down and then back up again. So we're going to use a scoreboard. And let's just put the sign in the wrong place. Okay, so we're going to create an objective. Scoreboard, objectives, add, and I'm going to call it vertical rotation. And it's going to be a dummy. Let's create that. Okay, now let's make a controller. This will be my controller. Done. This will be repeat. And I've got a lever, so needs redstone is fine. Uh, let's update that scoreboard. So first thing, scoreboard, players, add. Let's get a fake player. We will call them rotation value. That seems like a reasonable name. And we're going to affect their vertical rotation. And I'm going to add three. Higher number, the block will go around faster. Lower number, it will go around slower. And now I need to reset that. So we will execute if score our fake player called rotation value. His vertical rotation, if it matches 181 or higher, in fact, we can say 180 or higher. Run scoreboard players set. Um, it's rotation value players set rotation value his vertical rotation and we'll set it to minus 180 can't see because of that there we go so when it gets to 180 it'll go back to minus 180 the whole thing being 360 so that's our circle done uh, let's make a couple of armor stands and uh, it's negative x i believe yep okay summon an armor stand now if you're doing this make this one a marker we'll change this to a marker later i like an armor stand to test with negative x so minus two will do and let's move it up into the air we want to give it some tags or at least one tag and i will call it the origin and I don't want it falling down, so no gravity. 1B. Okay, that's 1. In fact, let's just copy all of that. Copy. And put it in here. Now this one does need to be an armor stand, because we, could, we want to put a block on its head, which we can't do with a marker. Uh, so let's do armor items. It's a list. We have boots. No. Leggings. No. Chest plate. No. Hat, yes. ID count 1B. Okay, what block shall I put on there? Minecraft. Ooh, a diamond block. Why not? How exciting. And let's go back and change his name. Or his tag, rather. We don't want to use names. Don't target people with names. In fact, let's call him target. Okay, so we've got two armor stands. There they are. Okay, so this one needs to be an arm stand because we put a block on it. This one doesn't because it's just it's just the hub that this one's going to rotate around. Let's uh, remind ourselves what these are. Summon arm stands. Okay. Now we need to get this score and put it into his rotation. So we will execute as any entity whose tag equals origin, we will store result in an entity himself. We will store it in his rotation. It's rotation one, square brackets, because it's an array. Rotation zero is X, rotation one is Y, and rotation two is Z. And uh, what are we gonna store in there? We're going to store a float scale of one, so we won't change it. 
run scoreboard players get from our fake player rotation value and here's vertical rotation number okay now if we run that now he will be looking but we can't see anything because he doesn't actually have a head so let's put another command on the end and let's execute as any entity tag equals origin again and this time we're going to execute at the origin and we are going to run teleport any entity whose tag equals target and we're just going to teleport them to in front that will do okay done i think think that's it let's turn this on and this should be rotating around nice there we go okay let's turn that off you could uh you could take away this one's gravity let's take away his gravity we can make a game out of it done ah he's on the floor but as long as this is running he'll be up in the sky anyway and maybe the player has to then stop at the right time to make the block Ooh, fall into a hole I don't know it's just an idea anyway let's change this we don't need this being an armor stand let's make it into a marker so let's turn you off you can go away so let's change it away from arm stand let's let's optimize it a little bit at least you could be a marker markers don't have gravity anyway so we don't need the no gravity tag but we will keep our origin tag done so let's summon that he's going to fall down the other one is invisible in the sky we run it and he's going to turn around okay stop one last thing i can think of doing this shape this thing really should be invisible we don't want to see that arm stand done now each time i'm pressing this i am generating a new marker so that marker is still there so maybe what we should do is kill all entities tag equals origin because we don't want those markers building up there so we killed one there we go <laughs> this is our block and let's set it spinning there we go okay that's it we've got a nice little diamond block doing a little bit of vertical rotation okay i will see you next time take care and look after yourselves. Bye-bye.